Hey guys, welcome to my shop. Uh, got the fishing bug this year. So I had this jet sled that I bought, God, probably 15 years ago. I used to use it for a deer dragging sled just in case we had a lot of snow. Um, but like I said, the ice fishing bug bit me. First thing I want to say is I want this for storage. I also want it to be where maybe I even want to mount a seat on this thing or, you know, biggest thing being... I want all my stuff inside to be dry. So what I plan on doing is, you know, carpeting the top of it and putting a couple LED lights around the outside. I plan on putting two up front. This way when I'm dragging the sled, if it's dark out, it'll give me some light so up ahead of me, like little headlights, so to speak. And I'm going to put a few on the side. So if I have the sled up against the side of my hole, I'll be able to see the ice in front of me if I'm doing night fishing. I did have a three-quarter inch plywood laying around, probably a little bit heavier than what I would want, but it will be good and sturdy. I want to do a, a rod locker, and I want to have a different compartment. So this is going to be framed out in one-inch angle aluminum. So I'm going to bolt down the top with a quarter-inch by one-and-a-quarter-inch nut and bolts. I got little washers that came with the assortment. And I'm also going to put a spacer underneath with a lock washer. First thing I want to do is I'm going to take a quarter inch drill bit. And I'm going to drill down through. This way I'll be the perfect size for my nuts and bolts. And then I'm going to use a number 14 countersink. And I'm going to sink them in. When I push them in, it's going to hold it tight. So when I tighten, I'm not going to have any spin. And then I'll take them back out. And then we're on for the carpet. But first, let me get going with the drill. Like I said, I'm using a quarter inch drill bit. It lines up perfectly with the shafts that I'm using for the nut and bolt. Then I'll take my number 14 countersink. And you want to sink it just enough so you get the bolt head in. Got all my holes pre-drilled. Next step is to frame this all out with one inch aluminum, the rod locker, compartment for all the tip-ups, the fish finder, my tackle, and then I'll be able to see where I'm basically going to cut the hatch lids. After I get the hatch lids all cut, then the next step is to carpet it and get everything attached, bolted down, piano hinges on, and then we'll be moving on to the next step. This episode of Appalachian Timber Ghost Outdoor Adventures was brought to you by Wild Kingdom Soap.